Hi Travelers, so today I want to do just a quick kind of first look hands-on and comparison between these two slings from Alpaca Gear. Now this is the Metro Sling, this is the original one, and this is the Metro Sling V2, so the second version. This is the Axo Flux in an Army Green, see that it's very nice, feels very nice, and it's relatively lightweight as well. And this is the Axo Flux Black 300D. If you look at them side by side close up, they do have a similar sort of sheen to them. And in terms of the feeling, they both feel very nice and smooth. They did also send me this to show you how it works with these products. This is the Hub Carabiner, which is sold separately. So basically what it is, is it's a carabiner. So since it's a carabiner, you can attach it. The V2 one here has nice attachment points on the side. So you could be wearing this sling and then have your keys or something on here and you just pull that and detach them unlock your door or whatever and then it just magnetically reattaches so nice quick access there now if we take a look inside the original metro sling here you'll see that it opens like it looks like it would open this way as a sling bag like that but actually it opens vertically so i have a field notes notebook and inside here I'll just show you you get one pocket on the front here which you can fit a passport or a notebook. Then you get an area down the front here and two side areas, which would be good for pens. And then on the rear side here, you have another space for a notebook or passport. And then some more space down the front here, like another slip pocket. And you can see there's some elastic loops here and they would be great for putting something like charging cables or also more pens or anything you can think of and then you have a wide space here which unfortunately isn't quite uh, wide enough to fit my camera because uh, this is a full frame camera and the lenses even the small lenses are quite wide but you could easily fit like a point and shoot in there or another small kind of camera um, it's a fair amount of space if you close it up you might want to put something like a power bank i have this power bank from zenju which i previously reviewed and that fits in there nicely so you could put let's say passport notebook some pens uh, you could put your power bank and some charging cables in here and have a really nice setup of course there's also this pocket at the front here which has currently the strap so this is the strap that you wear it uh, with you have another keychain clip here which detaches with the press of a button so again you could put a notebook in there this field notes one just fits and so that means the passport will just fit in there as well or you could put wallet money cash as well now the back of this one has four attachment points you can wear it over one shoulder this is the original metro sling and i have it attached to the two upper parts like the v2 and then you can just pull it around at the front unzip and grab what you need out so you could attach it like this i'll just quickly show you it sits a little bit awkwardly you could perhaps put this one here so it sits closer to the body um, but again i do have this adjusted fairly loose but this way you can still access from the top kind of pull it to the side and get things out of here without them falling out taking a look here at the v2 you can see the v2 one is a bit bigger um, it is not necessarily wider but it is definitely taller. I'll just show you the attachment points on the back are these two points up here, which you can actually remove these. They just clip on. And you also have Molly web strapping, one, two, three here, a grab handle on the top and more, three more Molly web strapping attachment points here, which as I mentioned, are great for the hub carabiner, which is sold separately. So this zip here at the front is actually the front pocket so the main zip here goes down both sides similar to the original and then if you look inside you have a very similar layout as well it's a little bit bigger but you get this a rear pocket with a neoprene there and you get a front section there and then you get two sort of pen holding areas pop it in so it's a pen on both sides and then the space here looks like it might fit a credit card a printing card uh, and so yeah a credit card fits in both of those pockets and 
it looks like it won't get lost because it, it has a stopper so it stops about there so great for credit cards so this could be like a sort of a giant wallet and then you get a bit more space here and again it's still not quite enough for my camera because of the lenses uh, but definitely point and shoots and you know power banks so you could have a couple of power banks in here for example put your charging cable down the back and have space for other stuff or a notebook or a charging cable here so it's very versatile what you can put in here and that's just the main compartment so as i said inside here the front compartment you will see that is the strap and it has these attachments for the rear strap you also do get the key clip so this one's a bit different uh, it has a magnet in it and it magnetically attaches so it's similar to the hub carabiner that pocket uh, it's just a straight pocket um, but has a fair amount of room because you can see that it has a bit of extra stitching here so it has the ability to bog out with a little bit more thickness so I could actually put one of the power banks in there and it doesn't actually look too bulky. So with the V2 um, I have a couple of things in here but this is how it looks attached uh, and there's not a huge amount of adjustment on you know the placement of it being that there's only two hooks there but it is designed really to be carried like this. The grab handle is very nice you can just grab it and, and hold it like this especially if you're going through the airport or something and the strap also again does have adjustments so you can make it looser depending on how you want to wear it. This is what it looks like on the back and it's easy to pull to the front and I'm wearing it fairly, fairly high but it's easy to just zip, grab what you need, zip it back up. So that's it, just a quick look there at how these things look. A couple of the differences in some ways I kind of prefer the design of this. I also personally prefer a sling that is horizontal uh, but obviously everybody has different preferences and I can see the advantages of this one particularly there's like an airport sling or if you are carrying like a point and shoot. Thank you so much for watching be sure to check the comments for the latest codes for discounts be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos.